Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jonathan Nicosia. Today we're in our beautiful showroom at the RV shop in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're going to be taking a look at the 2024 Renegade XL 45 DBM. It's the bath and a half floor plan on the Freightliner chassis. I'm going to go through the inside and the outside all in detail. And then I'm going to give you some specs and the pricing at the end. So let's take a look. All right. This is the 2024 Renegade XL. This is Renegade's flagship model. So the top of the line coach, you can't get any better than this. On this chassis, this is going to be a Freightliner P4 126 chassis with the DD16 motor. It's a Detroit 600 horsepower paired with the Allison automatic six-speed transmission. Going to put out about 1,850 foot-pounds of torque and up to a 32,000 pound towing capacity. This chassis comes standard with Detroit Safety Assurance, which includes all LED headlights, blind spot assist, collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control. It's going to be your radar sensor there. And here on the front, you have this camera. For the front camera of your Excite 360 monitor mounted where your rear view mirror would go. So it's a powerhouse of a coach. Luxury at its finest when it comes to driving a Super C. My favorite cab is definitely the Cascadia. 22 and a half inch Alcoa aluminum wheels on Michelin tires. It's going to be your radar for your blind spot assist. This blind spot assist will also track your trailer or your tow vehicle. So if there's somebody beside your tow vehicle, it's going to let you know if you put your blinker on, hey, don't do that because there's somebody right there. Love that feature. This has got the aero cap, not the cab over bunk. As of now for 2024, it is not an option to get a cab over bunk with the XL model. If you want that, you got to go with the classic. So we'll do a quick walk around, point out a few things, and then I'll open up all these storage bays and go through them one by one. So you have a Gerard Vision roof mount awning. You have two of them covering the full length of the coach. I'll put those out in a little bit so you can see how they look. This is a four slide out coach. You've got your two scene lights on the passenger side as well as two on the driver's side. The stainless inlay in this back cap. The rear view camera. Nice fiberglass rear cap. It's two pieces. You got your top piece and then your bumper separate. Minimizes the cost if you have a rear end collision or damage. There's two scene lights over here. This is going to have a 150 gallon fresh water capacity, 75 gallons of gray, and 75 gallons of black. And here's going to be your 120 gallons of diesel fuel, along with your DEF tank. Keyless entry. So this cab does have a key fob for remote locking. All right, I'm going to open up all these bays and we'll go through them one by one. All right, I have everything opened up. We'll start up here on the front. Take a quick look at this Detroit 600 horsepower motor. And of course, one of the many benefits of owning a Super C over a Class A is the serviceability. Safety first and then serviceability. So more service centers across the country are willing to work on a Super C. Because you just pop this hood and everything's right there. So easy to get work done, easy to get to your fluids, your filters, see what's going on under there if you need to. On your front bumper, we got the LED fog lights along with tow hooks. You can pop those off and you have a tow hook on either side if you ever did need a tow, God forbid. And then the standard on all XL models is the clear film paint protection on the front quarter of the hood, your entire bumper, 
is covered with that, as well as high impact areas, such as right here on that edge, and then here, where your feet are going to eventually kick on this pillar going all the way up on both sides. That's covered with the clear film. And then around your entry handle on the passenger side on your entry door. Just a little extra protection. We can also remove that and cover the entire hood. I've had some clients cover the entire front cap up there. I'll talk about this paint for a second. This is the Solstice full body paint color scheme. It's a four color scheme. And Renegade does just a fantastic job with their paint jobs. Plenty of coats of clear. You can't feel the difference between the lines. Perfectly smooth, just like glass. They do a really good job over there in Bristol with their paint and body shop. So with those roof mount Gerard awnings covering the length of the coach, you have matching profiles on the other side on the roof. So it looks like an awning, just gives it a nice uniform look across the board. And then below that you have your Gerard slide toppers painted to match the color scheme, one on each slide. You will have frameless insulated windows throughout the coach. Right there is going to be your vent for your microwave, along with that thin light on the slide. Exclusive to the XL model is going to be the stainless inlay along the bottom of the coach, as well as the rear cap. And while we're here at the baggage doors, Renegade builds all their doors in-house. They're aluminum, insulated. Each one's going to have this gas strut to keep it securely out. The XL comes standard with automatic locking baggage doors with a key fob as well as keyless entry right there by your entry door. So you'll know if you compare brands just the sheer way that they close. You can feel the quality. All right, first bay, passenger side. It's going to be your 600D Aqua Hot. This is the biggest Aqua Hot that you can get in a Renegade. It's going to be your source of hot water and your furnace with a diesel and electric burner. This also has an engine preheat loop, so it will preheat your engine for you if needed. Next storage bay, all of these bays come standard with the cargo line material, so no carpet in any of these bays. Very well sealed all the way around, so you can feel it again when you shut them. They're sealed tight. You have a 110 plug as well as 12 volt plug in this bay, along with LED lights. And all of the exterior bays are heated via your Aqua Hot. For your outside entertainment, it's going to be a Samsung Smart TV, along with a Bose soundbar that you can connect to via Bluetooth, give you an outdoor radio or play whatever is on the TV. You have an LED porch light right above your entry door, as well as that side view camera. You have one on both sides, one on the rear and one on the front, part of your Excite 360 camera system. In this storage bay, this comes with the coach. This is the step cover for your entry steps, so you can cover that while traveling, keep animals or kids from falling down in there. Another 110 outlet as well as LED lights as well. And again on our baggage doors, they are double latch. So that is part of what makes them so secure. You got your dryer vent there, along with your keyless entry. So you can set the code to. And then exclusive to the XL model, is gonna be these entry steps. So I'll show you how these operate. Screen door. There you go. So they're super solid, fold up nice and clean looking with that stainless on the outside.
This is a 45 foot twin screw tandem axle coach. This is a true twin screw, so you can interlock these two back axles as well as differential lock. Your docking lights there. This is going to be the biggest storage bay you can get with a Renegade. It's the three quarter pass through bay. So it goes through three quarters of the way underneath. Your generator is on the other side. In this bay, we have a 110 plug, heat duct, along with LED light. This is the optional Gen Y hitch, 32,000 pound weight capacity, some extra tiles, 2 and 5 sixteenths, 2 inch ball, along with the slide locks. Last bay on the passenger side is going to house your central vacuum system, all the attachments for that, along with the glad hands for your air system in the back. I'm a big fan of this back cap on the XL. That's your rear view camera. Nice and clean look. All LED tail lights. That stainless inlay. You have reverse and docking lights back here on your bumper. Super bright at night. No lack of light for sure. So the hitch. Show you your specs. 6,000 pound tongue weight. 32,000 pound ball capacity and a 40,000 pound pendle capacity. That's your air supply for your trailer, trailer brakes or air ride trailer, regular seven way plug along with the Voyager camera that's already pre wired. So if your trailer has a camera on the back, just plug and play. The full length mud flap down below. I do have the suspension dumped in the rear, so the ride height will be a little taller than this. Starting on the driver's side, you have a 36 foot power cord on a power cord reel, along with the power transfer switch. It is surge protected. 50 amp plug here in the shore cord box. That'll plug in a trailer or a stacker your friend's motorhome if they need it. 12.5 Onan Cummins diesel generator. Plenty of power to run everything in this coach. Give you a good look at those awning profiles on the driver's side. So it really hides everything up there. You can't see your air conditioners or your satellites or nice clean look. Got your camera on this side, the two scene lights. This is going to be your aqua hot exhaust and your chassis exhaust there. All right, getting into the wet bay. Here we have a tank level tester. So you can see all your tank levels while you're out here filling or dumping your tanks. Whole coach water filter. So all of the water entering the coach will be filtered. You got your macerator pump switch along with your hose reel for your power hose reel. An outdoor spigot, your low point drain, and a spray away so you can connect this hose via quick connect and spray off this area. And this hose will just store in there when not in use. You have a sewage hose storage pipe here, along with your 25 foot fresh water hose on a power hose reel. And then here you can select city water before you leave. Fill up your tanks. Park cable, black tank flush, and your levers to pull to dump your black and gray tanks. So you're going to pull the levers here, and then here's going to be your dump station. Now this one is optioned with the macerator system, the macerator pump. Definitely the cleanest way to go when dumping. So basically it takes your regular dump here, adds the macerator, and it pumps and grinds everything through this inch and a half hose makes it a little cleaner and easier so it comes with all the attachments you need to fit the dump so again 75 gallon gray and 75 gallon black tanks they are heated 
And then standard on the XL model for 2024, they've sprayed a temp coat insulation in the waste tank box. So a little added protection during freezes along with the heated pads on both tanks. Here's gonna be your Dragonfly lithium batteries. So we've maxed out this coach with as many lithium batteries as you can get. Each one is 270 amp hours by Dragonfly, it's a battle-born company, along with the two 3,000 watt inverters. So one of these inverters is ran to your center AC and will run that constantly when you're going down the road to help cool and heat the coach without having to run your generator. Paired with that is also three 200 watt solar panels on the roof. Last bay moving forward, gonna be your chassis crank batteries, along with this quick connect here. It's gonna be your onboard air pump. So when your engine is running, you can fill up all your tires, really anything you need. All right, that's about it for the outside. So let's go check out the interior. All right, up here in the cab, these seats are air ride, driver and passenger. So you can adjust the height as well as a manual lumbar for each. You have these nice comfortable armrests on both chairs. For your steering wheel, this is adjustable up and down as well as in and out for a telescope. And then my favorite part about the new Cascadia is the all digital dash. So you can see your gauges up here on the screen in front of you, as well as your speed, RPMs, fuel, depth levels, as well as your air pressure throughout the coach. And then you have two swipe pads, one on each side of the steering wheel. So this swipe pad will control the screen in front of you. You can see gauges, and in the middle, you can see your adaptive cruise control. So how far the person is in front of you, how fast they're going. And then on the right, you can see your navigation, your miles per gallon, and your Bluetooth. And then on this screen is going to be all of your, your gauges. So completely digital gauges. You have your coolant temperature, turbo boost pressure, soot level, and you can adjust these and according to what you want to see at the time. And then for your chassis, I love this. You have all your tire pressure monitors, easy to get to, easy to see. All of your tire temperatures. You can see your battery levels for all of your tire pressure monitors. And then really neat is your diagnostics. So you can, if you ever have a check engine light come on, you can pretty much troubleshoot most anything with this screen. Freightliner navigation, you can connect via Bluetooth, and this will work with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You just plug in a USB-C plug there directly to your phone, and it'll mirror and play Apple CarPlay or Android Auto directly on this screen. So I'll get you all a little closer to the dash so you can see these switches as I go over them. So on this screen is going to be, of course, your navigation, everything I just went over. And you have manual switches here to quickly access your chassis, your gauges, control your volume. And then down below is going to be your seven-way plug, your trailer brakes. That's your brake controller. And you have your air brakes here, your supply for your trailer, and then your trailer brakes. Here, you have a light test, the regen off. If you want to delay the regen for the motor or the def system, you can delay it until you get where you're going. Footwell light, your hazards, utility light, that's going to be your docking lights. Your anti-traction control, you can turn that off. You can turn your lane departure warning off. When you turn this off, it'll turn it off for 30 minutes and it'll come back on automatically. And you can override your engine shutdown here. Here is going to be your interlocking axle. So you can interlock those back axles, make them both drive axles, the twin screw, your differential lock here, and then your suspension dump for the rear of the coach. So you can dump that to make it easier to hook up to a trailer, easier to get in and out. And I like to dump it before I level the coach so my jacks don't have to work quite as hard. This Garmin screen is for navigation, exclusive to the XL model, so you cannot get this in a classic from the factory. And then here's gonna be your USB-C for a charger, and then your Apple CarPlay. And then some more 12 volt plugs, your AC controls here, and your parking brake. All right, 
we'll take a good look at this Excite 360 camera. So this is my favorite screen when I'm driving these to look at. It shows you your reverse camera as well as 360 all the way around the coach. But you can select different options, say for security if you want to come in here and see what's going on around you at night. You can look left or right, left and right. You have a three-way camera, a four-way camera, and then your 360 in reverse. So again, this is exclusive to the XL model. You cannot get this on a classic Explorer as far as the 2024 model year goes. You can look at the inside of that aero cap, the storage up above. Show you what we got in here. That's going to be your wine guard HD satellite, along with your in motion satellite that comes standard. In here, just a little bit of storage. You can override these lights here with that switch in there. Turn those off. And here's going to be some more controls and a little more storage. Easy to access your smart levels for your hydraulic. Automatic levelers, pre-wired for a CB radio here in the middle, and then spacious cubbies on each side, so everybody has their own space. Good look at these air ride seats, and the cup holders in the middle. All right, moving on back. Proposing seating here in the DBM floor plan. The XL has a 90 inch interior ceiling height. Heated floors throughout, front and rear, with two zones. You can have your TV on a televator here. So I'll get that coming up. Manual day shades on all the windows, and then power night shades throughout the coach. You have a remote that will control all your night shades. Nice LED accent lighting built into the fascia of all the slide outs. It's a really good look. Brightens it up in here. Here's a look at that TV all the way up. That is a Samsung Smart TV. And here you're going to have some 110 plugs. All of the plugs in the coach are going to have USB and USB-C plugs built in. This is a fixed sofa, so it is not a sleeping solution, but it does have Nice big pull out drawer underneath for some extra storage. Locked into place. Now, this is the 72 inch sofa sleeper. You can get the optional power theater seats, and we can change those out here at the RV shop. All solid maple balances. It's real hardwood. You will not find any particle board whatsoever in a Renegade. Every bit of wood is real maple hardwood, hand built. Here in the living room, you have access to your Firefly panel that will control everything in the coach, as well as that will work from your phone with an app, Vega Touch Mirror, so you can put everything out and control everything from your phone as well. This is going to be a fixed dinette, so one of the biggest, most spacious dinettes you can get. Is not a sleeping solution. With two plugs, one on either side, some cup holders, and you have two seat belts here for the forward facing seat. All soft touch vinyl throughout the coach. So all the walls and the ceiling are going to be a soft touch material. And then you have your XL center lit beam along with your AC covers for all three of your ACs. The biggest fridge you can get in a Renegade, this is a 22 cubic foot Samsung refrigerator with the smart screen on the front. So you can actually see what's going on in your fridge. There's cameras inside. Pretty crazy, but super cool. You can even order your groceries on Amazon without even having to pull your phone out. That's going to be your locks. Freezer drawer below with the ice maker, a little scoop. And you have a refrigerator drawer here. 
Then up top, you have the French style doors for your refrigerator. Plenty of room in there. And you do, of course, have the ice maker as well as a little hidden compartment for your water. So it's got water on the door, but it's hidden. It has a little filtered removable canister there. Super nice. If you look at those padded walls, so it gives it a nice classy look, quiets everything down as far as road noise, and adds a little bit of insulation throughout the coach. Moving to the kitchen, all the hand laid tile, solid surface countertops, have the residential hardware for your sink, as well as it comes with the butcher block cutting board, a drying rack, this movable tray, and then the grate at the bottom. Nice, it's a deep stainless steel sink, plenty of room to get things done. And also on top of your induction cooktop, you have a butcher block as well for the cover. And this is gonna be your two burner true induction cooktop. So there's no propane whatsoever on this coach, all electric. You have your Samsung convection microwave that'll act as your oven and your microwave. You have plenty of storage up above, window here, two 110 outlets for coffee makers, another one over here. So this is the perfect spot for a little coffee maker, Keurig, and a charging station there. You have removable shelves, adjustable shelves in there. Same here. Subwoofer for your surround sound. More storage. You have three soft closed drawers. And they are all dovetail cabinets. So no screws, no glue whatsoever in any of Renegade's drawers or cabinets. This is a two tier top drawer for cutlery. Again, all soft clothes. While we're here, you have a your Samsung TV remote. This is the remote for all of your window shades. So you'll click this and you hit all. And at the same time, they'll all lift up. And same there, you can bring them all down. And you can isolate each one as well. Your Bose soundbar, as well as your TV up and down. You can raise and lower that TV here. All right, moving on back. Here's gonna be your thermostat for your front AC. You're gonna have one, that's your mid AC. Your front AC is gonna be here. If you're wondering what those things are on the walls, that's what that is. Cabinet here, right above your entryway, a little more storage. That's your awning controls there for both of your Gerard awnings. And then nice entryway with the custom wood handles on both sides. So nice grab handles, no lack of places to grab. Privacy curtain there. And then a well lit entryway along with another grab handle. There, fire extinguisher. You have these lights and buttons. As soon as you walk in, you can turn all your lights on and you can put out your awnings and retract them from here as well. And here's gonna be your coach battery disconnect, your entry step override. And on the right is an e-start so you can jump start your generator or your chassis off your house batteries. Here's going to be your Victron Energy control screen. So you can see what's going on with your batteries. You can see your, see your state of charge, how much solar you're getting, and then your amp hours remaining on all your lithium batteries. It's going to be your pantry, what most people would use for the pantry. It's got the soft clothes drawers. 
again, all dovetail, nice heavy duty, real maple hardwood. And down below is going to be your easy to access breaker panels. Right here in the hallway is going to be your washer and dryer stack. You have your dryer up top and your washer down below. Along with a nice size drawer below and then access to your plumbing for your washer and dryer there. Here in the hallway is going to be the biggest Firefly screen you can get exclusive to the XL model. So in here you control all your lights, see all of your zones for your AC, your tank levels, your water pump and tank heaters, your battery levels, you can start and stop your generator, individual lighting, every light with an arrow on it is dimmable, climate control, your TV lifts, you can turn on your in-motion satellite, put all your slides out. You can also put your awnings out from here and your levelers. Again, you can do all this from your phone as well. By going here to your mobile app, this is actually going to be the Vega Touch Eclipse app. So you just scan this, download it, super easy to access and use, very user friendly. All right, moving into the half bath. Got a little towel hook on the back of this door, and Renegade's doors are very solid. Not the cheap. Doors are used to seeing on other manufacturers. Porcelain macerator toilet with the push button flush, along with the vents behind it are going to be your furnace for your aqua hot. Accent lighting below, under the countertop, as well as light there and LEDs on the ceiling. With your vent fan, as well as your AC duct in the bathroom. Storage above. Come here. And then also behind the mirror. All hand laid tile for your backsplash. Solid surface countertop. And then your sink. And then some more storage down below. Alright, moving into the master bedroom. Across from your bed, you're going to have this wardrobe. Big Samsung TV and the Bose soundbar. This TV will pull out to give you access to your clothing behind it. And you have the matching doors on either side. So tons of clothing storage with the cedar lined, great smelling wardrobe. Locks nice and tight. Again, access from here. And then these two down below give you access there three large drawers down below more storage there and then an AV cabinet that's prepped for your satellite box or DVD player whatever you want to add there a 110 plug there this is a 66 by 80 inch RV king size mattress. It is memory foam, so quite comfortable. Along with your essential vacuum plug here. So you just hook up there and you can reach everything within the coach to vacuum. Plenty of walk around space on either side of the bed. Each person is going to have their own nightstand, little cubby, and then a 110 plug with USB and USB C. Your controls for these power window shades are right there. And you also have this panel to be able to control the lights in your area, start and stop your generator, and then individual reading lights on each side, along with storage up above. And a 110 plug for the CPAP machine. Gotta have that. Your freshwater tanks are located underneath this bed. I'll give you a Quick look at that. So your two 75 gallon tanks, 150 gallons total. Easy to access water pump. It's a variable flow water pump along with the dump there. 
So you can dump your freshwater tanks very easily, along with your aqua hot ducks. So you have two ducks here under the bed. And you have your tank level testers there. You can look at those. And this clear tube is for winterizing your unit. Before we go into the master bathroom, which is my favorite part in the XL, let's take a look at these pocket doors. Full length mirror here. You can just hear and feel how solid they are. Locks in nice and tight. So we'll start with the star of the show, the shower. You have the rainfall shower with the four body sprayers and the removable shower head. So plenty of coverage there when you're taking a shower. The hand laid tile inlay is all solid surface all the way around the same material as your countertops. Hand laid tile floor with the integrated drain and the teak shower seat. Glass door there. Plenty of headroom with four LED lights in the shower. And with a vent fan, AC duct in here. Again, plenty of light. Towel rack. On this screen, you can control your water pump and put your fan up and down and control the speed of the vent fan. Some storage there. Again, the matching backsplash and solid surface counters. Storage here, along with your toilet paper holder hidden in the cabinet so it's out the way until you need it. Another porcelain macerator toilet. A nice soft closed drawer there and some cubbies underneath. Beautiful. All right, here's a good look at travel mode in this 45 BBM. So all the slides are closed right now. So in the hallway, you're going to have full access to your washer and dryer, your pantry here, of course, access to your king size bed in the back. Plenty of room to get to your half bath, your firefly screen here in the hallway. Full access to your fridge and your kitchen. Also your dinette is fully accessible. Now the tightest space is going to be these two opposing couches here, but still room to get back and forth and then to sit on both couches. So plenty of room in the 45 dBm. All right, that is it. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to put my contact information right here on the screen. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out. I look forward to working with you whether it be on this coach or a custom coach to fit your needs.